John Carradine, Louis Jordan, Francis Lederer, Lon Chaney Jr., and Frank Langella all did it, but only Bela Lugosi lived it. They all played Dracula on the screen, but only Lugosi made it his life's work. Bela Lugosi let Dracula consume the last 25 years of his life. He was born in Hungary, not far from the real Transylvania in the Carpathian Mountains. And when his work in organizing an actors' union made him a target for a new political regime, he fled to Germany and later on to the United States. He was a talented actor and quickly made a good name for himself. His stage career peaked when he was cast on Broadway in the title role of the movie we're going to see, Dracula. Now, since his English was not very good, he learned his lines phonetically which was what helped to shape that slow rhythm and precise diction and the odd inflections that he brought to this role. When Universal decided to make the film version in the year 1931, the director of the movie, Todd Browning, first cast Lon Chaney as the bloodthirsty count, but after Chaney died, Bela Lugosi beat out Paul Muni and Ian Keith, Conrad Veidt, and John Carradine for the role. This movie is full of gorgeous photography and unexpected moments, like when uh, Bela Lugosi passes through that series of cobwebs without breaking them, wolves and eerie footsteps, and occasional strains from Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake punctuate Dracula. <laughs> ¶¶ 